Welcome to Kermit Uncut. One of the things I get asked a lot as a film critic is, how many films do you see in a day, and do you take notes? How do you write down, how do you remember what it is that you've seen? Well, as a national press critic, generally what happens on Monday and Tuesday is that you see four or five films during a day, so usually ten in a cinema during the week. And yes, I do take notes. I've been doing this for a while, so I'm very old school. This is what I use. This is my high-tech notebook. And I basically, whenever I watch a film, I write down notes in the notebook of uh, you know things that I think are important while I'm watching the film. So, for example, here are my notes on the film Graduation. So, one of the things I do right at the very beginning are handheld 235 colour subtitles. Now, I know that seems really stupid, but that's literally a matter of writing down the title of the film and what it is. Then what I also try to do is to write down sort of notes of things that I think are important that might come up during my review. So, for example, let's have a look at this randomly. I've turned down some pages here. So here, um, oh, I've written down wonderful. This is a review of Aquarius. This was a moment in the film that really, really struck me as wonderful, which I mentioned. Um, a little bit later on, I'm in putting this, this is a reference to the fact that it uses Queen's Jazz Fat Bottom Girls' best use ever. Okay, so this is, a, this is a little bit of critical stuff going on. Usually, however, what it is, is a matter of writing down phrases that come up in the movie. So, for example, you know, would you show me, I think you should show me the way. This is from Eyes of My Mother. Just stuff about what I think about the cinematography and, you know, general notes. It's always interesting that the more I like a film, the more notes I take. So this, for example, this is from Eyes of My Mother. There's quite a few pages of this. If you go, for example, to something like, oh, look, this, for example, this is very interesting. So these are my notes for Lost City of Zed. You see, my handwriting is really terrible. One, two, three, four, five. Occasionally, you'll get a movie when actually there isn't very much to write at all because the movie isn't very interesting. So let me just show you this. This is the page of my notes for chips. That's the whole of my notes for chips. Literally, not one thing interesting to write down. Now, one thing about this is, I write these notes in the dark. As a result of it, some of my handwriting is completely indecipherable. And it is true that I will sit for a long time sometimes, sitting trying to figure out what I meant when I wrote this. So, for example, this says, she cooks up her nuvda. I wanted to make you proud overhead. Okay, so she, I don't know what that means. Police arrive end okay so i can't read all of it that's because i write in the dark and the way i do it is i have my pen in one hand and i have my thumb on the thing there and i write a line then i move my thumb down then i do it again then i move my thumb down then i do it again then i move my thumb down then i go again now some people use lighty up pens which is just about acceptable because they've been around for ages i don't some people recently have taken to getting out their mobile phones and shining them on their pages of their notes which i think is unacceptable Recently, there's been a couple of cases of people actually taking out iPads and computers and writing on illuminated computer screens, which I find completely unacceptable. No, if you're going to be a film critic, you have to learn, one, to write in the dark, and two, to read what you wrote in the dark. It doesn't always work, but it's always the way to do it.